hidden object, an Easter egg. The first person to find the egg will inherit half a trillion dollars and total control of the oasis itself. Find him. All right, Steven Spielberg says Ready Player One is a popcorn movie. It is not a film, and critics seem to agree that it's a fun ride worth taking. And you know what? Gray Drake is here from Rotten Tomatoes, and we're just going to ask you. Just give us the juice. You have these virtual glasses on. I don't, do you have to wear them to see this movie? You don't. This has nothing to do with the movie, except this is what they're wearing in the movie, because in this futuristic world, everything sucks. So everybody escapes. <laughs> it's not hard to imagine for some people. So everybody escapes to the Oasis. It's a virtual reality world. And there are three keys hidden, just like you heard in that clip. When you get the keys, you get control of the Oasis. So it's a huge deal to Ty Sheridan and in the movie. And so it's animation meets gaming meets, you yes, know, like meets every pop culture reference that made my nerd heart so happy. <laughs> There's so much to see in this film. I was, I would never say Stevie Spiels was wrong about anything. Stevie Spiels? That's his new nickname that he does not think is good. <laughs> not, not Spielberger, like what like Carl's Jr. wants to call he him? He said no to me and Stevie Spiels like he said to Carl's Jr. Same thing. I mean, how much is it? It's, it's going to make gajillions, you said. You you know, I think that this one, it's tracking at about 50 million. I think that it's first going to attract like the hardcore nerd fans, people that have read the book. They're so excited to see all these references to things they recognize. I think it will continue to pull in people through word of mouth. Yeah, do you think it'll beat, but who was number one right now? Is Black Panther still number one? Black Panther got kicked out of number one yeah. last weekend, and I think that this one will take the top spot finally. Okay. And it's so fun. I can't say that it's rewriting the book as far as scripts go. Mm -hmm. You know, this is an underdog story. This is what Spielberg does. But it's so fun. It's the best visual thing that he's done since Minority Report. Easy. They said 10 years. This is his best film in 10 years. Inc I actually, I think that's about right. All right, 78% fresh on that yes, one. Yes, certified fresh. Certified Woo! fresh. Okay, next one, Isle of Dogs. Okay, so. Okay, when I first saw this, I said, I saw this trailer like a long time ago, and I said, oh, is it for kids? No. Because <laughs> I have little kids, and you said, no, 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 no. It is not for kids, because this is, we have reached maximum Wes Anderson with mm -hmm. this movie. He's a very stylized director, Royal Tenenbaums, and, and movies like that, you know, Rushmore, etc. And Isle of Dogs we'll is, him. at its simplest, a story about a boy finding his best friend, a dog that has disappeared, the love of his life, right? Mm -hmm who's been banished to Trash Island. Now that's the most simplistic su summary of the movie I can give. It's so much more than that. There's a very big anti-dog conspiracy in this fake Japanese city. There are dogs, everyone talks. Sometimes they're translated, sometimes they're not. There's a lot going on here. You know what it reminds me of too, the, the work on the film with Wes, it, it's like it, it, claymation meets Japan, a tronics. I don't even know if there's a word for that. What, how would you describe this? <laughs> well, it is it is an anim it's a stop motion animation film, but there's so many different mediums of animation within it. Mm -hmm. It's so stylized, it's so nuanced. It completely blew my mind. I thought it was unbelievable. It's so weirdly funny. Mm -hmm. Well, it's Wes Anderson. I exactly. mean, you gotta think about it. This one got 92% certified fresh. This beat Ready Player One. I mean, that's pretty impressive. Exactly, yeah. We, well, this is like a high for Wes Anderson. People love his movies, especially our critics, mm -hmm. but this one, I think, blows them all out of the water. Now, there's only one little thing. What? Some of the voices. See if you can recognize anything in common. Bill Murray, Jeff Goldblum, wow. Brian Cranston, they're all white dudes. Uh -huh. It's a story about Japanese dogs. <laughs> so there, is there getting critic, are they getting critic backlash from this? You know, there have been a lot of great pieces written about representation that I think are very valid. So it's important to see the movie, I think. Mm -hmm. Make your own decision. Continue this conversation. At the end of the day, it's still a magical movie, but it is bringing up a very interesting topic. But I have to say, Wes Anderson, those guys are in a lot of his films, so yep. he kind of represents and brings along his character, cast of characters. Absolutely. Okay, so last one, we just had Tyler Perry on here. Yes. Acrimony. This is Fatal Attraction-esque, but just hell half a wo like a woman's scorn. You can't, no. hell half no fury like a woman's scorn. That's right. Oh my God, I can't wait. I'm so excited. So <laughs> they don't normally screen Tyler Perry movies for critics. Why is that? You said that earlier. Generally, they all end up being rotten on the tomato meter. And it is because, for whatever reason, our for you know various reasons, critics are just like not into them as compared to other movies of the genres, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Here's what a fan like me has to say. What? Nobody liked to Roger B. Henson get mad. <laughs> 
<laughs> she is. She flicks that cigarette in that trailer and just like lets them have it. But hey, she's a, it's a psycho thriller. If there was like a list of people I had that I would fist fight and win, she's not on. Oh, God. <laughs> Girl, I'm not either. All right, all the scores are out. RottenTomatoes.com. You can check it. Gray, I love those glasses on you. You're just going to geek out a little more with that. See you at the Oasis. You're so cool. You're so cool. Coming up, which big name celebs are getting invites to the royal wedding? It's not great.